Serious trouble, ladies and gentlemen. Serious trouble. <laughs> this is a probably should have gotten the original Bloomberg article, but this is from Kotaku. Port Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic remake and serious trouble. Three years in development, the work on the Code Tour remake is on hold. The upcoming Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic remake is on indefinite hold following recent firings of two key directors, says Bloomberg. Uh, no, mostly for port development, Asper Media announced its full-on Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic remake as part of an official PlayStation 5 showcase last September, but since then the project's reportedly hit more than a few bumps in the road. Despite internal excitement following the production for production of a vertical slice, what? Production of a vertical slice for... Lucasfilm and Sony in June, Asper leadership told staff the project just wasn't where it needed to be. A week later, design director Brad Prince and art director Jason Miner were fired. Miner confirmed on LinkedIn, didn't provide a reason. According to Bloomberg, Asper Studios hell, uh, heads held a series of meetings throughout July to discuss the game status, telling employees that development would need to be paused as the company sought out more contract work. So hire more people. <laughs> and while early on, Asper told partners the Knights of the Old Republic remake was targeting a late 2022 release, that would have been nice, developers now say the far off 2025 is more realistic. Some close to development, close to development also say too much time and money was spent on the demo. <laughs> so, wow. It's in Asper's... Uh, Production partners and that maintaining the project's current source was no longer sustainable. Asper's parent company, Saber Interactive, announced it would be assisting in the development of Knights of the Old Republic remake back in May. Uh, we're fully confident that the game is going to be fantastic, but it's a massive product, and a massive and massive products require a lot of effort and a lot of time to make good. Saber Interactive CEO Matthew, <laughs> why am I reading this? Karch told investors of parent company Embracer Group at the time, and especially when you're talking about a game that's already old, very old. What? We basically had to remake that game from scratch. Don't you talk about that game like that. Two things. I still haven't beaten that. Secondly, this gives me time to beat it before this comes out in the next three years. But, so, um, I forget my... I, I know I made a video before, but uh, I think there was some hubbub about someone at the top, one of the, you know, one of those people that um, is not, according to her Twitter, it's not really a fan or mocked the fans or something, and they were put in a position for this game. Um, don't know why they would do that. Second of all, don't, uh, so I haven't. I haven't finished it. Every, every organism that has played this game has raved about the storyline. If it's good, if it's so good, all fans want, all, all we want, just do a reskin. <laughs> Why not? Um, don't tell me you need to add things to it because we don't need that. You know, look at... Uh, um, <sighs> I can only think of a <laughs> Super Mario uh, All Stars because I have it. Um, it was Super Mario Brothers, and they just updated it to the Super Nintendo. Other other things like that. Nintendo's done that. People love it. Well, you don't have to change anything. Um, but they came out saying how they're gonna alter the story. <laughs> if something is good, and you tell someone you're gonna change something. You're going to be skeptical. Skeptical. If Grandma says, "You know my famous blueberry pie every uh, Thanksgiving." Oh yeah, I love it. Well, I'm going to change it. You're like, wait, 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 wait. Why not just make something else, Grandma? <laughs> this conversation's weird. Anyway, yeah. Um, people, I think original fans were not happy about all that stuff before. Now it's getting, I, I thought it was canceled, but delayed. Um, I mean, they, I guess like this year would have been great, but a push back into three more years is pretty drastic. So 
I don't know. Let me know what you think. Is it better for it to just be scrapped, maybe? Or uh, are you looking forward to a delay? I don't know. I, I don't. I don't feel like if they actually delay it and come out later. I don't think that's going to improve anything if they've talked about it the way they have. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.